Okay, so this is one of the weirdest trips that I have ever had. So it kind of started out pretty normal. Uh, I was planning on doing like 30 milligrams of DMT. I loaded it all up for myself. I took my pulls and I really had a oddly weak trip for 30 milligrams. Like I couldn't, honestly, no, I didn't feel anything from it. And it was kind of weird. And it, um, it pissed me off a little bit because it made me feel like, ah, I wasted 30 milligrams. Like two minutes into the trip, uh, as I'm not feeling anything, I decided oh, I should uh, just take some more DMT and then maybe I'll feel something. So again, I broke uh, one of my only rules that I have for DMT smoking, which is you should always weigh your doses. Uh, I ended up just eyeballing a little bit of DMT, put it in my vaporizer, and then I sat in my computer chair and started taking my pulls. Now, I knew right away that something weird was going on because the DMT tasted much more intense than it normally tastes and a lot more intense than it had just tasted, uh, you know, two minutes before. Normally, what I would kind of do is I would... Uh, take like my first two pulls and then I'd wait to see how I felt and then I would take my third pull but for whatever reason I just decided to do all three pulls so that's about six pulls of DMT in a span of like I don't know two or three minutes and the dosage was question mark uh you know, if I had really had to guess, I'd probably say 80 milligrams total so right away after I exhaled my last pull I started to feel a huge intense rush my, my heart started to beat really fast. I started feeling like all this crazy energy coursing through my body. I started shaking a lot. And since I was sitting in my computer chair and I was close to my computer, I started just staring at my screen. My computer was off. The screen was totally black, but I was just kind of staring at my screen. And I immediately felt like the screen was trying to pull me into it. And for whatever reason, that really scared me. So I stood up from my computer chair. But then by the time I had stood up, I had forgotten why I stood up. And something about that set me off in my head. I'm not really sure what it was, but I started stumbling around my living room. I started feeling like all the walls in my living room were crashing down. Then I started seeing this weird uh, like TV static distortion over every single object that I looked at. I've sort of had a similar experience to that on acid once where I was seeing TV static everywhere, but this was a lot different. This was like localized TV static occurring only on whatever object I was looking at. And so, of course, uh, what eventually started happening is I started feeling crazy, started feeling like I was losing my mind. I, could, I, I forgot that I had smoked the DMT. I didn't understand why every object I was looking at was TV static. And things were getting so crazy and intense, I started thinking to myself, well, there's only two ways this is going to end. And that's either with me calling an ambulance and being taken away to uh, the psych ward, or I might have to kill myself. So I started panicking and then it kind of hit me. I remembered that I had smoked DMT and that I was bugging out on it. And that's really why I was feeling the way I was feeling and seeing the things that I was seeing. So I said to myself, dude, chill out. You did DMT. You're bugging out a little bit. That's why everything's all crazy. Just sit down on the couch, chill out and let the time pass. The more time passes, the better you'll feel. So I sat down and I started staring at the cable box because the cable box has the time on it. However, I couldn't see the time. I couldn't make out the time. To me, it just looked like uh, four digital squares or rectangles. It didn't look like numbers. So I started getting really pissed off. Like, oh, geez, the one thing that I need to know uh, to get better here, I can't even see. It's just kind of like this weird cycle of hopelessness. So then I said to myself, you know what? Just close your eyes. Just try closing your eyes. Maybe uh, the visual world is a little too much for you right now. So just close your eyes, see what happens. And as soon as I closed my eyes, I got sucked away into what I can only call an interdimensional, intergalactic, neon, psychedelic TV game show. I could see that an audience had appeared. I can see television cameras. I could see recording equipment. And I remember seeing uh, like TV monitors. On the monitors was footage of like surveillance footage of what was just happening to me in my living room. You know, I saw myself wandering around my living room. I saw myself sitting on my chair and like almost falling out of it. So I realized that 
oh, this is a TV show where interdimensional beings watch other lower beings like myself uh, lose their minds on DMT. And it was very dark in this TV studio and the audience was like completely neon colored. I couldn't really make out exactly the details of how they looked. I just remember seeing them being made up of so many different colors. Suddenly at some point, uh, a game show host appeared and his body was like this oblong uh, blob of slime. He had like dozens and dozens of tentacles, um, both like as arms and as legs. And he was super, super, super transparent. Like I could see through his body, like I could actually see his guts and uh, organs and digestive system. And there were like millions and millions of rainbow colored things in there. Like, I can't explain it, but that's what I saw in this guy's stomach. And so this game show host, he made a noise at me. And the only way I could describe the noise is it sounded like this. Blah, 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 blah. Like that's how I heard it. But as soon as I heard it, I got like, I guess the interpretation of whatever he said telepathically projected into my head. And what I heard was like a stereotypical TV game show announcer's voice say, welcome to today's episode of whoops, there goes my mind. And there was like a pause. And then the entire audience shouted, whoops, there goes your mind. And then I was like fucking bombarded by like infinite flashing images and colors and formulas and numbers and things that I think were numbers but didn't look like numbers and shapes and it, it was literally like things were flashing at me at a rate of like a million frames per second like it I, it literally like blew me back in on my couch like it, it it felt like it physically hit me and I don't know how long that bombardment went on for it could have been five seconds it could have been five minutes five lifetimes it really doesn't matter but the next thing i remember is opening my eyes seeing that i was sitting on my couch and i just started hysterically laughing like probably um the most and hardest i've maybe ever laughed in my life it felt like someone had told me the universe's greatest joke and only I knew the punchline. The entire thing started to feel like a joke. Uh, me flailing around my living room, thinking I was gonna kill myself, and then, you know, sitting on my couch and all this other shit, closing my eyes, being on this game show. It felt like my subconscious had crafted this joke for me to be amused by. And it worked. I was hysterically laughing for like two minutes after I came out of the trip. And after a while, I just started feeling like amazing. I don't know how else to describe it. I felt relieved. I felt so much gratitude for um, being allowed to see and hear like the universe's funniest joke. And I guess I just felt like a, an appreciation for myself uh, because typically in life, like I'm the jokey guy. I'm the guy who's uh, always cracking jokes and fucking trying to make everyone laugh. I was the class clown. So I felt like for a moment I had done for myself what I had always done for other people when I make them laugh or whatever. Uh, I really did feel like an episode of Rick and Morty or something. Um, it was really bizarre. Uh, oh, and I should mention, I've never really watched Rick and Morty, so I don't even know what the fuck goes on there, but I've seen like the trippy uh, DMT-like sequences on YouTube or whatever. But otherwise, I've never really actually watched the show. Uh, but it, if I did, it felt like it, it would be like that trip that I had. So anyway... That's my story and I'm sticking to it.